Hi, my name is David Keefe, and I am one of the bass instructors here at Musicians Institute. Students frequently ask me about ways to expand their ideas when playing fills during a groove. I'm going to show you a fun and systematic way to learn and practice the pentatonic scale, which is one of the most useful scales for bass, grooves, and fills. Now before I review the scale, let me demonstrate the groove that I'll play to practice my fills. Now this groove is an A minor and is a repeated four measure phrase. I'll play fills in the fourth measure each time. Don't forget that you must return to the groove after the fill. No matter how good your fill is, if you don't get right back to the groove, you're not doing your job. Now since the groove is an A minor, I'll use the notes from the A minor pentatonic scale for the fills. This is a five note scale spelled A, C, D, E, and G. It sounds like this. A, C, D, E, G, A, and I'll repeat C and D on the G string. So since this is an A minor pentatonic scale starting from the root, notice that I played it in the same area or position of the neck as the groove. A very important step in expanding your pentatonic vocabulary is to learn the scale in all the possible positions of the neck. To do this, you must learn a pattern starting from each note of the scale. Each pattern is in a different position on the neck. Since there are five notes, there are five positions. Moving up the neck from the root, which is in the first position, the next position starts from C on the E string. Remember to play all of the available notes of the A minor pentatonic in this position. Here are those notes. C, D, E, G, A, C, D, and E. Now remember as part of this exercise to restrict yourself to only the notes from the scale and to only this one position at a time. Now I'll play the groove with fills in this position. The next position starts here at D on the E string at the 10th fret. Again, only the notes of the A minor pentatonic scale. So I've got D, E, G, A, C, D, E, and G. Again, these are just notes of the A minor pentatonic scale. So this time I'm going to play the groove and the fills using a slap bass technique. For those interested in slap, this type of practice will really help. Most of the slap bass vocabulary comes from the pentatonic. So here's this groove with slap. Now, with the addition of the position starting from E at the 12th fret and from G, we now have a full range of A minor pentatonic choices. Keep in mind that this system works for all keys exactly the same. The patterns of each key are identical. So have fun, practice hard, and hope to see you here at MI.